New for you this morning, a late night fire destroys a building in Knox County. It happened in the 200 block of Bicknell, and that's where we can find News 10's Brittany Earl. She's been gathering information this morning from the scene, and she joins us now live with more details on this developing story. Brittany, what can you tell us now? Ron Drell, I'm actually on Main Street here in downtown Bicknell, where, where late last night a fire started just before midnight and continued all throughout the night and into the early morning. As you can see behind me, this is where the fire started at this building here. It's actually a total of three buildings. One looks to be a complete loss. The other one, they might have saved, but it's sense extensive uh, water damage. But actually, to explain the better of what it looked like early this morning, here's a picture of a reported feature. A News 10 viewer sent this in using a reported feature. This is what it looked like early this morning, late last night, when it was actually on fire. Now, you've seen the aftermath, but to better explain what is going on, I have the chief here, Tom Hoagland, with the Bicknell Fire Department, to better explain. Good morning. You guys have been out here all night long, all morning. Explain a little bit of what you guys were dealing with when you got here. When, when we got here, we had smoke coming out of the top of the building, and we were trying to, to get in the building as far as we could and find if we could do an interior attack to try to put it out. Were you actually able to get inside the building? We got inside the building to the top of the stairs and then were put to a stop from a hole already through the floor in the, in the second story. I spoke to some of the other firefighters. They said the fire possibly started in the bottom floor in the Senior Citizens Living Center. We're not sure exactly which one it started in yet, but it did start low and then it spread upward and, and just got out of our control where we couldn't fight it from inside and we had to go on a defensive attack. Okay. Now when we got here early, just a little bit a bit, bit ago actually, you guys were still outside spraying it. Are you dealing with hot spots still? Is it still catching on fire? Yes, where the roof dropped down on the second floor, we still have some hot spots, but they're basically from the looks of it, they're pretty well out at this time. Now are we looking at a complete loss or is any of it able to be salvaged? I'm pretty sure the whole section of three buildings will be destroyed. Okay. Now you said the roof actually fell in. You guys are on the defense, which means you were outside the building when that happened, though, right? Yes. Yeah. We pulled everybody out before the roof came in, so we timed it just okay. as close as we could. Now, do you guys have to keep an eye on it for the rest of the morning? Are you afraid of any more hot spots happening? We will keep track of it until uh, we're sure there's no more hot spots. So, yeah, we'll be here for a while. All right, well, thank you so much for sharing with us. We appreciate that. Well, Ron Gerald, just to mention, one of the buildings is a senior citizen living center, and that's actually where they make the meals for the Meals on Wheels program. So right now, we're not quite sure what's going to happen with either of these buildings, but I'm going to send it back to you guys. We'll check back in with you in just a little bit. Reporting live in Bicknell, I'm Brittany Earl. Ron Gerald, back to you. All right, good report there, Brittany. Thank you very much again, Brittany Earl, reporting live in Bicknell. And we should add that at this point, they are not saying that there are any injuries at this point. No injuries, thankfully, have been reported.